Witness China's audacious construction of the world's largest $500 billion artificial island. Explore how this colossal venture transforms sea into land, setting new benchmarks in engineering and urban planning. Get ready to be amazed, inspired, and intrigued. Don't miss out. The secrets behind this unprecedented human endeavor. Let's unearth the story of a modern marvel. China's construction of artificial islands in the South China Sea since 2014 has had serious geopolitical ramifications. This subtopic will explore China's control over Paracel and Spratly Islands as well as competing claims by various nations within its region such as Vietnam, Philippines, Brunei, Taiwan, and Malaysia. Paracel Islands and Spratly Islands have long been at the center of national debate among these nations. Situated as they are in the South China Sea where trillions of dollars worth of goods pass each year through it, gaining control of such archipelagos allows countries to exert influence or assert territorial claims over them and thus exert political power. China's construction of artificial islands has caused alarm among its Asian rivals, who view this move as an effort to gain full control of all South China Sea waters. Such actions have only served to heighten tensions further and give rise to territorial claims from various parties involved, leading them to challenge China and demand that changes take place immediately or face backlash from regional or global powers. South China Sea's significance goes well beyond transit duties. It may contain substantial hydrocarbon reserves of oil and natural gas that could play an integral part in providing energy security for Asia. Estimates vary as to their potential volume. Some sources indicate an impressive amount of oil may lie underneath its waters. Furthermore, seafood resources play a pivotal part in regional cuisine as well as economies. South China Sea's competing claims of geopolitical significance has drawn the interest of major powers, most notably the U.S. Washington regularly deploys warships in this area in an attempt to assert freedom of navigation amidst increased tensions. Furthermore, Australia, Britain, and U.S. recently formed the August Alliance in response to China's activities there. The South China Sea holds great economic importance to countries in its immediate region and beyond. And this subtopic investigates this significance, from trade routes and energy resources to its contributions to regional economies and more. The South China Sea serves as an indispensable trading route, connecting various goods between East Asia, Southeast Asia, Indian subcontinent, Africa, Middle East, and Europe. An estimated $3.4 trillion worth of merchandise passes annually through this region. Japan relies heavily on it for energy imports, roughly 80%. China as an emerging trading nation relies heavily on trade routes across South China Sea for economic stability and growth, with approximately 60% of China's foreign trade relying on this area. Ensuring security of these trade routes is of utmost importance in maintaining its economic health and growth. The South China Sea serves not only as a transit route, but it's also believed to contain hydrocarbon reserves. While oil was first discovered there in 1968, estimates for its exact volume remained highly debated. China's Ministry of Geology and Mineral Resources estimated it could hold as much as 18 billion barrels, while more conservative estimates are at 1.1 to 11 billion. Exploration and exploitation could have profound consequences on regional energy security, as well as economic development. South China Sea is well known for its abundance of seafood resources that play an essential part in traditional Asian cuisine and economies in its surrounding nations. China's engagement in creating artificial islands in the South China Sea stems from multiple strategic imperatives. This subtopic examines the motivations, such as diversifying logistics for exports, investing in foreign ports, guaranteeing security, and furthering their ambitious One Belt, One Road initiative. China has one of the primary strategic objectives to diversify the logistics behind its exports and to enhance economic connectivity to key markets by developing both land and combined deliveries of goods. By asserting control over South China Sea trade routes and protecting economic interests, China has invested billions of dollars into foreign ports and strategic areas around the globe as part of its broader strategic vision. One Belt, One Road's 21st Century Maritime Silk Road Initiative involves long-term infrastructure initiatives worth billions that aim to increase trade connectivity while strengthening China's geopolitical influence across regions, thus making security in the South China Sea essential in making sure the ambitious plan succeeds. China has leveraged disputed territories in the South China Sea to build military bases and naval outposts on these artificial islands in an effort to project power while protecting trade routes with airfields, communication centers, radars, air defense systems, missile warning systems, etc. Established here as well, these bases aimed at projecting power while safeguarding global commerce routes. 
which makes this strategy particularly strategic given how influential global trade routes run through this body of water. Understanding the historical background and territorial disputes surrounding the South China Sea is integral to understanding ongoing tension in its vicinity. This subtopic explores historical perspectives, national disputes among nations, as well as China's policy with its nine-dash line claim policy. South China Sea's territorial disputes date back to the middle of the 20th century. After World War II, countries in the region began contesting for power of Paracel and Spratly Islands, which have long been points of contention between nations. China, Vietnam, Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei, and Taiwan all assert various claims over these islands, which often overlap between each other, and vie to claim them as their territory. Historical events shape the context of these disputes in terms of geopolitical rivalries and ideological clashes, with China at odds with both Soviet Russia and Vietnam due to China's push towards communism. Vietnam emerged after the Vietnam War aligned itself more with Soviet Russia, while the Philippines were staunch allies of the United States. Indonesia fluctuated between socialist and capitalist ideologies at different points, while Malaysia witnessed rapid economic development which further complicated matters. In addition, Chinese claims on Taiwan as its territory further complicated matters between states involved. China has guided its South China Sea policy with the so-called Nine-Dash Line since 1947, when published by the Republic of China government under the Kuomintang Party leadership. This line contains nine dashes, or segments, which covers approximately 90% of the South China Sea. China uses this nine-dash line as evidence of territorial sovereignty over this vast portion, prompting resistance from other claimant nations. Over time, disputes between China and South Vietnam have escalated into tensions and occasional armed conflicts. One such example occurred in 1974 when both nations engaged in an intense naval clash over Paracel Islands, with China taking control over several territories at stake and South Vietnam losing ground on other contested lands seized by them by Beijing. Unresolved statuses and ownerships remain contentious issues which continue to spark territorial claim battles and fights to assert control. China has engaged in extensive engineering and construction efforts in the South China Sea to establish artificial islands. This subtopic highlights these efforts by exploring their transformation of reefs, submerged islands, and other features into habitable land areas, an effort which showcases both China's engineering expertise as well as scale of construction projects undertaken there. Geological investigation is often the initial step to building artificial islands. Specialists study the topography of the seabed to locate areas suitable for creation, such as submerged islands, underwater rocks, and coral reefs. Once sites have been selected for artificial island creation, building materials, including special concrete for hydrotechnical structures, are transported there for installation. To create islands, special machines are often used to lift sand from the seabed and deposit it at specific points on land until an island-forming area has been reached. China has used this approach extensively when adding artificial islands throughout their region, repeatedly watching massive amounts into reefs and shoals artificially increasing the island numbers this way. Chinese engineers have mobilized hundreds of vessels for these construction projects. Their flagship vessel, the giant Jingjiang Hao, has played an essential part in these operations, with their efforts creating over 4 square kilometers in new landmass in just one year. China's primary aim in creating artificial islands was to improve living and working conditions on them, for those residing there. Infrastructure has been implemented on these artificial islands to provide shelter, navigation assistance and accurate weather forecasts to fishermen and merchant fleet sailors as well as deep harbor construction for protection from storms or typhoons. China's creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea have serious military ramifications. This topic explores their transformation into military bases, the infrastructure that was installed as well as any concerns from regional or global powers regarding militarization of this area. China initially established observation posts and maintained small garrisons on disputed islands of the South China Sea. Since 2010, however, the focus has increasingly shifted towards actively turning these areas into fully-fledged military installations and bases. Satellite imagery analysis reveals extensive military infrastructure on artificial islands. Airfields, communication centers, and deep harbors exist alongside radars, air defense systems, missile warning systems, and other military-related facilities that indicate Chinese intentions to project power, increase maritime surveillance capacities, and secure trade routes. Militarizing artificial islands has caused widespread concern among regional states and global powers alike, most notably among the United States itself, which expressed reservations conducting regular freedom of navigation operations through these waters to assert international law principles and uphold them with warships sent through. Military implications in the South China Sea extend far beyond regional dynamics of power projection and control, to its significance as an essential trade route that global actors rely on, uninterrupted to transport goods across. Any disruption or threat to this vital artery would likely have far-reaching repercussions for international commerce and security alike. 
China's creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea has generated various international reactions and alliances. China's actions in the South China Sea have raised serious concerns among regional states and global powers, who view China's activities as an attempt to upset established order or endanger freedom of navigation. In particular, the U.S. has voiced its displeasure, sending ships through disputed waters regularly to enforce principles of international law and guarantee freedom of navigation for ships passing by. As China asserts itself across Asia-Pacific region, the Quad Alliance has grown increasingly influential, made up of four key powers – United States, Japan, Australia, and India. This coalition seeks to promote an open Indo-Pacific environment while meeting security threats, especially those related to South China Sea territorial disputes. These four nations have conducted joint military exercises as well as diplomatic initiatives designed to counterbalance China's dominance within the strategic arc. An equally noteworthy development was the formation of the AUKUS, Australia, United Kingdom, and the United States Alliance. Officially launched in September 2021, this alliance seeks to enhance trilateral defense and security cooperation, specifically regarding challenges within Indo-Pacific regions including South China Sea. Under AUKUS, Australia will gain the ability to build its own nuclear submarine fleet, further strengthening maritime capabilities. China has strongly objected to these alliances, viewing them as attempts by other powers to contain China's rise or interfere in regional affairs. China continues to pursue development projects in South China Sea, regardless of complaints raised from other powers. Due to its global significance, the international community keeps close tabs on developments in the South China Sea. China's creation of artificial islands in the South China Sea has had significant environmental ramifications. This subtopic explores what impact they've had on delicate marine ecosystems as well as environmentalist concerns raised. Building artificial islands involves extracting sand from the seabed and depositing it onto existing features like reefs and shoals, creating artificial islands through this method. Unfortunately, this practice causes significant harm to marine environments, coral reefs in particular being at risk during this process. The destruction of marine ecosystems with long-lasting ecological implications can have lasting ramifications. Construction activities in the South China Sea have resulted in widespread destruction of coral reefs, with devastating consequences on biodiversity and marine life. Coral reefs serve as essential homes to fish, crustaceans, and other organisms whose existence depends on them. Their destruction threatens these vital environments as well as altering food chains across the region. Environmental impacts from coral reefs dredging go well beyond coral reefs. Sedimentation, water pollution, and disruption of seabed habitats may result from its removal, as can the release of sediment into the ocean, which harm marine organisms and decrease quality, in turn impacting overall marine health and the health of its ecosystems, and loss of marine ecosystems and biodiversity in the South China Sea, as construction activities cause irreparable ecological damage. Particularly concerning is the coral reef destruction, which not only plays an essential role in marine life, but provides coastal protection from storms or erosion. China's ongoing developments in the South China Sea and the creation of artificial islands has important long-term ramifications that should be carefully considered. This subtopic explores potential outcomes and impacts regarding territorial disputes, resolution, international tensions, mitigation strategies, and regional stability impacts. The South China Sea territorial disputes remain unresolved for decades, owing to competing claims and territorial assertion by each nation involved. China's construction of artificial islands further complicates matters and raises doubts as to their peaceful resolution. Additionally, their militarization increases risk factors which could escalate into potential confrontation. International tensions surrounding the South China Sea are of great concern due to the major powers' strategic interest in this region and China's assertive actions that raise potential clashes or disputes. Freedom of navigation operations and alliance established international interests have highlighted its need for peaceful resolutions. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up.